Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the woods of Idaho. Jeremy S. from TTAG here, thetruthaboutguns.com, hanging out with my pal, the FBI Q target, because today we have a really cool pistol that we're checking out. So as it turns out, I am not actually the only person in Idaho. This gun that we're checking out is made not too terribly far from here, from a company that has been doing aftermarket Glock parts for a long, long time. Not just replacement parts, but aftermarket performance upgrade parts for Glock pistols. And if you haven't guessed yet, that company is Lone Wolf Distributing. Now, how I came across this pistol is actually kind of interesting. A couple of months ago, Lone Wolf came out with their locking block for Glocks for the compact and full-size frames. And that actually made it so Lone Wolf has, makes, or sells every single last part that comprises a Glock pistol down to the pins, the springs, you name it. And I realized, you know what? I could actually build a Glock from the Lone Wolf replacement parts catalog, a 0% Glock Glock. I guess it's a Glock, but it would have no factory Glock parts in it whatsoever, not one. So I contacted Lone Wolf and I said, hey, you know, can I raid your catalog? Can you send me every single part? I just want it in a bag to make a Glock, to build a 0% Glock Glock. And they actually had another suggestion, which was telling me about a limited edition run of guns that they're doing. This is the 2014 limited edition, and they make it in all sorts of sizes. This is a Glock 34 size gun, but you can get subcompacts, and it's built on their Timberwolf frame, and it is a 0% Glock Glock. There is not one factory Glock part in this whatsoever, but I didn't have to put it together myself. This gun is available, this whole line of 2014 limited edition guns. Let's go in for a closer look and see what this Glock, I guess, is made of. The limited edition comes in this sweet case where you can see everything is held and organized nicely. You can actually move all of these things around because they're Velcroed in. So you have two magazine holders, you have the pistol itself, which comes with two back straps, the flat one and the curved one. And I must say this Timberwolf frame is extremely comfortable. It, it, it's awesome. It improves on the Glock frame really in every way, including this really nice beaver tail for a very, very high grip on it. You get an even lower bore axis than your typical Glock. It feels really good in the hand. I've been really impressed with it so far. The slide is made by Lone Wolf. You can see right on there, it says limited edition 2014. And we have tall Trijicon night sights on this because along with the barrel, that comes with a limited edition, which is this black nitrided barrel. I also have an extended threaded barrel so I can run this thing suppressed with those tall sights. It has Lone Wolf's UAT, or Ultimate Adjustable Trigger in it, which you can adjust for reset and break, all sorts of nice things. I haven't tinkered with this, we we're just playing with it right out of the box. And in keeping with the theme here, I even went so far as to get Magpul magazines. We are not using factory Glock mags. We are 100% no Glock, 0% Glock Glock. We'll see how it runs. We'll see how straight it shoots. And I'll give you my impressions as we go. You know what, F it. I didn't go through all the hassle to get a suppressor to shoot with earplugs in. So I'm just gonna shoot suppress today. That target, exactly 15 yards off. Nice, that trigger feels good and these sights are dead freaking on. We've got trees about 225 yards down there, nothing between here and there. We'll see how the subs sound. Nice and quiet. Now there's a tree at 100 yards, if I hit that guy, a dead tree, in the trunk. Nice. It's like we are caught on that Magpul mag or something. Interesting. Feed lip wasn't quite right, I think, but it was not going home. Yeah, 
Yeah, that crisp trigger, much better than a factory Glock trigger for sure. Okay, the rangefinder says those targets are 70 yards away. There's a Corona bucket sitting on the stump and a little box on that tree up there. And those I hit offhand from here, which I was actually really surprised with. A subsonic nine millimeter, just lobbing it in. But now I'm sitting down at the table. Let's see if I can hit it. We'll go for the Corona bucket first. Yahtzee. <laughs> All right, now the box. All right, let's shoot a few supersonic rounds down there instead. Frick, that is louder. And there goes the box. All right, we just lasered this at like 49.3 yards. Near is down at 50. There she is. Oops. No problem. Oh yeah. 20 yards. Dang it, these freaking PMAGs are just not working with this gun so well. Huh. All right, we're back in the same place in the woods about a week later. I was editing the video together, I realized it's a little bit weird that I never shot it unsuppressed with the factory normal barrel. So I'm gonna do that now. Got the Magpul magazine in here. I'm gonna switch it out for a factory Glock 17 one after that. Just plink a little, show that it runs, which of course it does. Shirt's a little tight. I assume all these bullets are just going right through that bucket without moving it, naturally. I wouldn't miss it. Hey, it works. All right, that's gonna wrap it. Pretty quick video on this Lone Wolf Limited Edition pistol, 2014. Again, they are making these in compact, in full size, Glock 17, Glock 34, like this one, basically any config you want. And it is the very elusive 0% Glock Glock, if that's a thing. I definitely like the Timberwolf frame, this beaver tail, the high grip. It's a lot more comfortable in the hand than a Glock frame. Naturally, that isn't saying much, but in general, compared to pistols that have very ergonomic grips, I do like this one. It's right up there. Everything is just about perfect with it. Machining on all the metal parts is great. And Lone Wolf has built up a pretty good reputation for doing performance Glock parts that fit and work and are nice and look good and all that good stuff. And making a whole pistol out of them, it makes some sense. This thing ran fine, except for those Magpul magazines. Sometimes I couldn't get the slide to drop. I don't know if they went a little bit too high. These are supposed to be the new ones. I know Magpul had that recall for a very similar reason to this. The feed lip angle was a little off. Now, by the time I've actually put this video together, I will have run it with factory Glock magazines to see if it's something with the gun or if it's something with those PMAGs. And there would have been an annotation already on the screen, hopefully, if I remembered, saying what the conclusion was. This thing shoots straight, and that trigger is excellent. The mag well is great. It was very quick to swap mags on it, a little bit quicker and easier than a factory Glock. Overall, love this pistol. It's a great shooter. Had a lot of fun with it.
As always, check the link in the video description below to thetruthaboutguns.com for photos and more technical details about this. Thanks for joining me out in the woods as always. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys out here next time.